I'm going to show you how you can weave brilliant shimmery golden threads through your acrylic pores. I am doing an acrylic pearl pour of sorts, and once we get into this, you'll kind of understand why I'm saying of sorts, because I'm also doing a few exciting things within this pour. I'm going to demonstrate a few cool techniques and some of them are just regular old techniques that we know and then there is one in particular that I'm going to show you that I just kind of took a chance with and it really paid off. But what you see me doing here is I'm layering a cup and I'm doing a pearl pour so these paints are really thin and how these were mixed was with just regular old American Floetrol and thinned with water and I am also using the new Vivid Intense High Flow Fluid Acrylic Paints by ColorArt, and I'm using the Nickel Azo Gold, and I'm also using the Cobalt Aqua, and that Cobalt Aqua is actually in the cup, and you can kind of see it there, that really pretty aqua-looking color, and of course the Nickel Azo Gold is that kind of more orangey tone color there. And I am going to put an end card here and a link to the video that you could go watch how I mix the new Vivid Intense Fluid Acrylics from Color Art, and if that interests you. And I will also leave that link again at the end of this video, uh, just because maybe not everyone wants to interrupt the poor to see that, but I figured I would do a short video to show you how I mix these new, beautiful, intense fluid acrylics from Color Art. Now this is something that I am excited about for this pour, and it's the Golden Gosling Unicorn Spit. And this you just add kind of as is, and I'm going to add it in the cup, and I'm just going to squirt it and, you know, just kind of drizzle it around in the cup, and it really adds some stunningly brilliant and shimmery effects to this pour. Be sure and stick around because a little bit later this pour goes through several different phases and you're going to see me use this in another particular way. And I was super excited and thrilled with what I was able to do with it later on in the pour. Now, as I said, this is a pearl pour of sorts, and I'm using the pearl pour technique. I'm calling this my sunken treasure pearl pour because there's just some really cool aspects to this pour as far as things coming together like the unicorn spit, the vivid, intense, beautiful colors like the nickel azo gold and that cobalt aqua. And I'm even going to do a little swiping as well. Are we down before we even started? I'm putting my really thin white base paint down. That's what you see here now. And for a pearl pour, the base paint is very, very thin. It's kind of like the consistency of cream. And you want to coat the canvas and then get all the excess off so that you just have a very thin layer on the canvas of that white paint. And my white paint is Deco Art Satin Enamel Pure White and Artist Law Flow White mixed with Floetrol and water. Okay, so now we're gonna have a little bit of fun. Let's count how many different ways I am pouring. <laughs> I just realized. Now it looks like I'm doing a traveling pour. Now wait a minute. No, it looks like a straight pour. Now it looks like a little bit more of a traveling pour. Now flop cup. <laughs> we're doing a little bit of flop cup. And wait a minute. We're traveling again a little bit. And yes, then we're just going to kind of travel around. And now it looks like we're doing a little bit of a ribbon pour. <laughs> Uh-oh, now wait a minute. I think he's reloading. He's pouring another cup. We're layering another cup and we're getting ready to do yet another little bit of a pour. Tell me, tell me, 
as you can see the design starts to expand out farther when you wait for a little bit and I decided to layer another small cup because I felt like I had a little too much of that white that you see there and I didn't want to lose all of my beautiful colors so yeah I just thought I would do another small layered cup and then we'll pour that maybe on that opposite side there where all the white is and hopefully get some even more interesting designs. So yeah, I'm putting my Golden Gosling Unicorn Spit back in there too because I want to have my beautiful kind of golden threads in this pour also. And doing more flop cup this time. And then we're going to finish up over up in that area with kind of like ring pour slash straight pour just to kind of give the design maybe some variation. Now I'm also using a syringe and I'm gonna I'm gonna take some of my white pearl cell mixture base paint and put it in the syringe and then I'm gonna do some paint injections. So I'm injecting, putting that tip underneath the paint and inject, injecting my pearl cell mix into the design as well. So here is another technique that we're incorporating <laughs> into this and then I'm going to do a little bit of kind of wrecking the design, embellishing it, running my stir stick through different areas just to kind of give it a little bit more interesting, hopefully, composition when things start getting stretched around the canvas because we've got to still stretch this top layer of paint of the colors a bit thinner, get rid of some of that off the sides of the canvas so that our pearl cells will hopefully pop through in different areas. So I, I think the design looks pretty cool. I'm really kind of pleased with that. And now we're just trying to get more of that paint off. As I said, we're stretching it from side to side, trying to get the colors off and then stretched back into the center of the canvas so that those outside edges, the perimeter, will get maybe stretched thinner so that the, it'll allow the pearl cells to pop up and surface. And I like the design. I think it's really pretty interesting. I like where you see my ring pour slash straight pour up in that right hand corner up there. It's doing some interesting stuff. And yeah, and, I, and now you can really see the beauty of these vivid, intense fluid acrylics. And that Nicolazo gold is just really, really brilliantly beautiful. And same thing with the uh, aqua, the cobalt aqua, just really pleased with these colors and like kind of how they all came together. And the other deeper blue that you see in there is a uh, modern master's Venetian blue. And so I liked the color scheme. I thought it really did well. This is looking to me kind of, kind of very marine or ocean like, just has that kind of underwater feel. And I'm just letting everything kind of settle here for a second and see what kind of pearl action I start to get. I don't typically use this recipe to make pearl cells. I just tried it. Um, Sarah Mack kind of inspired me to try it this way, but it's been a little while and I've been hopping back and forth from things that were like ring pour slash straight pour where you need thick paints and then blooms where you need a little bit thicker paints than this. And so I think I overdid it with thinning out my colors, I think to some degree, because that's when you see the like Modern Masters darker blue popping through some of the white and making cells and pearls in certain areas. So I'm getting kind of like color pearls in there too. and smaller pearls but you can see that there are some pearls starting to pop up on the edges and the perimeters and what you see me doing now is what you'll see me doing throughout this 
and I'll do it a little bit more towards the end, but I am actually running straight from the bottle my Golden Gosling Unicorn Spit Gold color and making what I would call golden threading. So like I am threading this pour, following the lines of the pour with this gold. And this gold is so brilliant and so sparkly that it's very exciting to me because you can pull this along the design and it will trail off and become very fine and thin. And I really like that because I have seen people try to do this in things like a geode type pour and they use like a glitter paint that's kind of in a squeeze bottle. But that ends up looking chunky and not very refined and it just doesn't give the kind of look that I would want to highlight, but this is such a brilliant, sparkly, very fine thread-like treatment when you run this along the edges. Like I could see this being really beautiful in a straight pour or a ring pour as well. However, I will say paints are very thin on a pearl pour, so you don't have to worry about it sinking as much. But I think if you did this on a straight pour, you'd have to wait a little later in the straight pour where there's become like a little bit of the drying time it started to happen. And then put the lines of the gold if you wanted to highlight areas. And then that way I think you wouldn't lose it, like it wouldn't sink. So just something to think about if you do try to do this for yourself. But um, yeah, I really loved kind of what this does. And you're gonna see it up close a little bit later in the video and I think in just a bit I'm also gonna do a little bit of swiping to give some more visual interest and variety to the composition. You can see now that a little time has gone by I've gotten some white pearl cells here and there but I've decided I'm getting out my Amsterdam titanium white and I'm mixing it with a little Aussie flow troll and making some white cell activator because I'm gonna do a little swiping with my colors here and there just to kind of give a little bit more composition and see if that will enhance things a little bit and as you can see though I do like this pour even though it's not my typical pearl pour using this recipe it's got a lot of there's a lot of little small cells and colored cells like the Venetian blue, that darker blue has caused like a lot of little tiny cells to pop up. And there's a, a lot of lacing that I like though. They're in this as well. It almost kind of has, like it almost looks like stone in places as well. And uh, I, I thought, well, it's not a traditional pearl cell painting that I would, <laughs> would uh, really, you know, say as a purist true pearl cell painting but I really do like this and I decided to roll with it and keep going and push things farther and just use some other techniques and so I'm putting I'm loading on the back of my offset uh, spatula I'm using my cake spatula there and uh, cake server and loading it down with some titanium white and I'm gonna do a swipe across those colors that I just put down and just you do a little swiping to see kind of what we can do and how we can kind of enhance this piece even farther we're not done yet but I want to do a quick tight shot of those swipes and see how beautiful and sparkly those are and you can see how brilliant and just fiery, sparkly, brilliant golden threads that the Golden Gosling Unicorn Spit makes. And as you can see, the painting has settled for a little bit and it's not dry, but it's getting drier than it was. So I'm going back and I'm putting the Unicorn Spit down again in areas to kind of highlight the lines of this pour. And as you can see there, as long as I take that line and I kind of stretch it off, it really goes narrow. So you're able to make some really fine, beautiful, very brilliant, sparkly golden threads doing this at this point in the pour. And like I said earlier too, if you were doing say a straight pour or a ring pour, you probably would want to also let it set up a little bit and then try to do this if you wanted to kind of highlight the lines or some of the lines in a pour like that. 
just because the paints would be thicker and you wouldn't want it to sink. But here it doesn't sink, but it kind of assimilates, which is nice. And like I said, it's a far better, I think, choice than using something like a glitter paint that has a lot of chunky glitter in it that isn't really going to look very refined and maybe isn't going to be the kind of look that some people would find desirable. I'm calling this golden threading with the unicorn spit and I hope that you'll try this for yourself. I find it, I think it's just really stunningly beautiful so and it makes me excited to try and use it with other fluid art. This next shot I'm showing you when it's semi dry and how beautiful those golden threads are. You can see them there. It's just stunning. And I uh, hope you'll give it a try for yourself. And this has been Perspectives of Pouring. And up after me is Britta Clayton of Britt Clayton Design. And after her will be Sheldon of Shell Rock Art. Please check out their videos. I'll leave links to everyone's videos in my description box. And as always, thank you for hanging out with me in this kind of exploration of many techniques <laughs> and some new ones you can see that beautiful brilliant threading of that gold golden gosling unicorn spit and uh yeah thank you so much for hanging out and until we meet again i can't wait until i see you for some more fun pouring together